Cosmo here. Welcome to part two of the MHQ-2 Hovership 3D printed mini quadcopter project. In this video, we are gonna connect this up to the computer, get the flight controller configured, and go take it outside and fly. So stick around. This is Base Flight, which is a Google Chrome browser add-on. So you'll have to go install that if you don't have it already. Once you connect the flight controller to the micro USB port and hit the connect button, you should see it tilt on screen with the real copter. If you go to the configuration tab here, you can see the direction of the motor spin and the order of them, just so you can verify that they're connected the right way. Now, if you didn't install the flight controller pointed forward, you'll need to adjust that here to make sure that it knows which way it's facing. Otherwise, it'll do flips and crash as soon as you try to take off. So here, I'll change the adjustment uh, to 90 degrees because I turned it sideways so that the USB port would be on the side so it was easier to reach. As soon as you hit save the flight controller will reboot and then you can continue making changes. So now when you tilt the copter it should be tilting the same way as the real one here so the arrow on the screen points forward and if it's not right you need to adjust it until it is. You'll want to set the copter on a level surface and click the calibrate accelerometer button and that's pretty much all you have to do there. That'll make sure that it knows which way is level. In your options you want to make sure the free sky telemetry box is checked if you're using the same hardware as me as well as the battery voltage monitoring and the PPM input. So in the receiver section you can verify that your channels are set up correctly on your transmitter and that the flight controller is receiving the signal from your receiver so you'll want to make sure that you don't have the props on the copter just in case but you can see your throttle up and down is working yaw left and right which is the rudder and the pitch and roll controls if all those look correct, then you're doing a lot better than I did the first time, and you're almost ready to fly. In the motor testing tab, you'll need to check the I'm not going to be stupid box to unlock the sliders. You're going to check each motor to make sure they're working. Okay, so that one's spinning. That one's spinning. Yes. All right. So, two of them are spinning the wrong direction. But all four are working and they're in the order they're supposed to be. So we just need to reverse two of the wires on any of the motors that are spinning the wrong way. And then we're ready to put the props on. In case you can't see, it's right there in the grass. And it's teeny. And I don't, this doesn't have stabilized mode or it's not set up. I need to go back to the computer. Okay, so back in base flight, I've changed my Tyrannus to have a three-way switch that allow me to change between angle, horizon, and acro mode. And I'm going to use angle mode by default since it's the easy one. Turns out this controller flies in acro mode by default and I've never done that and I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. Um, so now that we've programmed the flight modes, let's try this again.
works. My grass is too long though. Poor thing. Yes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Uh, leave me a comment. I appreciate it when I know that actual live humans are watching these things.